a comedian extraordinaire, and a great Caribbean man. I want you to put your hands together, give a great welcome to the one and only John Agitation. Agitation with true life sensation designed for your mental relaxation. Are you supposed to clap for that? <laughs> well, Papa, last Saturday I and my wife gone in the market. Saturday is the day we does market. Well, I show all your husband when you go with your wife in the market, you don't go and shop with she. You just stand up and wait. Because if you see a woman shopping in the market, Papa, you sure to suffer from stress. <laughs> because they're taking up a tomato, fill it. Gone over there, they fill another one. And they come back and take up the one they fill. I can't take that pressure, so I stand up by myself waiting for she. She buy a few things and leave it in her bag. And right there, a lady with a basket of orange, selling orange. I don't know where this mister come out. He hit the woman one cough. She fall on the basket of orange, scatter papa, and fight going on. I say, well, must be husband and wife. So while them fighting, I picking up the orange, put it back in the basket. I say, when they don't fight, she go sell. I picking up, put it in the basket. The man turned around and hit me a cough. I say, partner, why are you coughing me for what I do you? What you do me? And you picking up for she? Arabian language. <laughs> I gone home, I sit down, reading the papers. I seen the classified ad. A woman, this is how the ad read. A young woman. Now, excuse me, I can't talk good English. Eh? <laughs> so I have to practice to read the way it was written. A young woman with 40 acres of land, interested in a young man with a tractor. <laughs> Matrimony in mine. Please send picture of tractor. <laughs> oh, man, as of man. The next ad below was most amusing. The another ad reads, a young woman has a piece of land for sale. It is situated between two hills <laughs> and through it flows a stream of clear water. <laughs> it was given to her by her father 18 years ago and vegetation have slightly blocked its view. <laughs> but it is a wonderful sight for a pushy young man with a stiff capital. <laughs> Papers mislead you again. Well, I get telephone call. Hey, hey, we get telephone by me now, you know. <laughs> I live in quiet in the bush. Trinidad developing, eh? They put telephone by me. And street lights, Papa. And they tell me next year we will get the streets.
telephone ring. Mr. Derek Ventnor want to talk to you. Some name like that. He want me come here to perform Mahalia Jackson. The only thing I know about Mahalia Jackson is when she used to sing the Lord's Prayer. I had loved that song. I used to put it on on my gramophone. And with a long speaker like the fellow was blowing the saxophone. <laughs> you know, talking about he named Benjamin, right? I talking to him backstage. I say, Benji, you just play music for love or for money? You say, Aji, you know about music? <laughs> Anyhow, you look at the scale. It starts with do and it ends with do. So I decide to come down here to perform for you. Get me plane ticket and thing, but where I live in Papa had to get a bus. I have to walk about a mile and a half to a trace. We have street light, eh? <laughs> then I will get into a kind of gravel road. They used to call it a bridle road. Because when you walk in there, I don't know if you couldn't talk or what. They used to put it, call it Bridal Road. But I think it was for asses and things like that to walk on. And then finally we go meet at Junction and that is where the bus does turn back to go to Tong. Well, Papa, I walk in, go in, I see my partner, I say, Aji, where you going? I say, I'm going to catch the bus. He say, me too, boy, he wait for me. <laughs> Is somebody break a winner? <laughs> Americans are real do things loud, you know. <laughs> yes, we walk in through the trash, the trace, going to catch the bus to a wee. As I'm making a bend, well, he plays quiet. I hear two women talking, coming, well, I recognize the voice. I jump in the bush and I hide. He jump in the bush and hide too. <laughs> the two women pass and they go on. Well, when they go on, we come out. He said, Aji, you surprised me, boy. I said, what? I ain't know you're afraid, oh man. <laughs> I said, me afraid, oh man, boy. Them two men we pass the. One is my wife and one is my deputy. <laughs> you see the problem? It could be embarrassing for both of them to bunk me up one time. <laughs> But what you hide for? It's the same thing. Well, Papa, is one bus going out? The bus packed to capacity, if I use in my word right. <laughs> a young girl like she. Stop, let us see what a young girl look like. <laughs> stand up, stand up, dude, stand up. You are young again? <laughs> well, um, what go tell her? Stand up, dude, you, you're young, you're young. Yeah. Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Right. A young girl, like she come in the bus and the bus pack up. So she hold on to the rail, but you know the road rough. So them people feeling sorry for the poor child. I will test with Sidong here. You say, Miss, sit down on grandpa lap, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> She said, no, I'm comfortable. I ain't going too far. Here are the people and them. Well, it's country people. Girl, 
You have malice. The man could be your grandfather. Sit down on his lap and make yourself comfortable. You have malice. Well, the girl feeling embarrassed, she sit down on grandpa lap. And boss bouncing. <laughs> Way, road rough. Hey. About half an hour after he had the old test, Miss, say what? I think you're going to have to get up, you know. <laughs> she said, I ain't getting up, I'm comfortable. <laughs> what do you want me to get up for? Well, I don't think I old as I tell you I was now. <laughs> well, partner, I reach airport. Now, when I reach in the airport, something happened, but I want a lady to come on stage with me. Let me demonstrate to you. <laughs> you want to come down? Yeah? I want you to see exactly, because I, as a fella, don't lie, you know. I just talk the truth. <laughs> Wanna come? Nikki! <laughs> Nikki, call Nikki for my place. Call Nikki. She up front. Nikki, you up front somewhere? Well, come now, darling, anybody. Send a woman backstage here for my place. <laughs> because I want to demonstrate to you exactly what took place in the airport. Come, darling, come. Thank you very much. Hey, Miss Universe, give her a hand. Oh. That's how you always kiss? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about all this gimmick. I respect the lady. This is what happened. This fella come to see his wife off as well. She going away. So he embraced her in the airport, and this is the conversation that was taking place. Do we? The way I love you. <laughs> In a thousand years, I cannot love another woman like you. <laughs> Same time, a nice girl passing. Look at him. <laughs> girl time could fly, eh? <laughs> Thank you very much. Give her. <laughs> Reality. Reality. I get on the aircraft, coming to New York, BWI, of course. They have three flight attendants attending to we section. What I've given you here is real McCoy. You know. <laughs> Two Travisau and a black flight attendant. We have any Travisau here? <laughs> Madam, stand up, let us see what a Travisau with the yellow dress. <laughs> Yes, stand up. With the yellow dress, yes, stand up. That's a Travis Howe. Give she a hand. <laughs> Two Travis Howe and a black flight attendant seen about three sections. But what I noticed is a white fella following the black girl all the way she go. The black flight attendant. She go by the restroom, he follow she did. She go on by the kitchen, he follow she did. I watching him. I watching him cut eye too, eh? <laughs> eh, eh? I finding that strange. She's sharing drinks for the passengers, he following she. So I decided to go talk to him. I say, hey, why are you harassing the poor guy, black girl for? He watch me. He say, I don't know who you are, but you know a damn thing about flying. I say, explain that to me. If this plane crash, the first thing they're looking for is the black box. If I stick with this woman, they're bound to find me. 